Hey everyone, I'm Waga Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome to my channel. If you stop by because you've been curious if certain beauty advent calendars are worth the price point, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, so my channel is all about beauty boxes, subscriptions, hauls, and advent calendars. For the past three years, I have been doing advent calendar unboxings, and a few of my viewers have commented that they would be curious for me to give some reviews and let them know which calendars are maybe worth the price point. I'm also going to be explaining why I'm passing on certain advent calendars I've picked up in the past. However, just because I pass doesn't mean they aren't good boxes. I just have so many products that I need to start using them and not just keep purchasing more and more. I want to let you know that if anyone has been curious about purchasing any of these, there will be some spoilers, so spoiler alert. All right, enough rambling. Let's get started. All right, the first advent calendar I want to discuss is from Look Fantastic. This advent calendar retails for $120 this year. It is a 25-day advent calendar. You can pre-order it now as of October 29th. I would say that this advent calendar is perfect for anyone who currently does not subscribe to Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Allure, Test Tube, any of the beauty subscription boxes. The majority of the products in this box are going to be skincare, sample, travel size products, and you've probably received them in the past. Now, if you love unboxings and love doing advent calendars, this is a great box. It's perfect for someone who's trying to build up their collection. It does lean more heavily skincare, hair care than makeup, although there are a few makeup products in this calendar. This year's box is pretty standard. Um, they do have something a little different with an infuser. I'm also seeing something from The Ordinary, which surprised me. Ordinary has great products. It's just lower end from a price point standpoint. Um, there are some nice hair care products from Christoph Robin and Philip Kingsley. I am seeing a product in there from By Terry, which is a higher end brand. Overall, this is a fantastic box. Again, if I haven't been subscribing, doing hauls, and unboxing for the past three years, I would snatch this up, but I already have way too many items. All right, let's move along to Glossy Box. Glossy Box retails for $110 and is also a 25 day calendar. The Glossy Box does have more makeup products than the Look Fantastic, although it still has a lot of skincare products. Again, if you are trying to establish your collection, if you enjoy travel size products, or you just love unboxing advent calendars, this is a great deal. The makeup in here are not from super high end brands. The skincare products are a mix. I am seeing some higher end brands. Makeup, I'm seeing Revolution, Co Cab Cosmetics, and Estate. This again is a very lovely box. And if I had to choose between Glossy Box and Look Fantastic, I would pick the Glossy Box. All right, in the past, I have purchased and unboxed the L'Occitan. This retails for $80. It has gone up from when I purchased it two years ago. As I'm looking at the products, this looks exactly, almost exactly the same as what I received when I got this box. So I would say if you love L'Occitane or if you've always wanted to try products from this brand, go ahead and get this box. If not, if you already are aware of their products, I would say just make a haul. All of the products in this box will be sample size. You're going to get five to six hand creams, three to four shampoos, conditioners, body wash, soaps. Again, if you love this brand or know someone who does, it would make a good gift. For me, I've already tried it. Um, I'm going to pass this year. All right, moving on to Kiehl's. Same concept with Kiehl's. This brand is very popular, particularly in Europe. It has been around for a long time. So if you are wanting to dip your toe into Kiehl's products, this will be a great way to do so. This calendar retails for $105. The box will contain approximately 95% sample size items. There are a couple of full size products. Again, the items I'm seeing in this box are the same or very similar to what I got a few years ago. I'm going to link down below 
the uh, previous unboxings because it's so similar. Kiehl's has been producing the same products for years. This is a sampling of their product lines. All right, next. Now the one I'm really sad about because they have really fantastic packaging is the advent calendar from YesStyle. This is the more expensive advent calendar of the ones I've purchased, not of how expensive advent calendars can be. Oh my goodness, they have some that are like 400, 500 and over $600. Of the price range I have purchased in the past, this calendar retails for $164.90. I'm just gonna round up and say 165. It is beautiful, the packaging though. So if you are about the advent calendar experience, this may be for you. The main reason I'm skipping is because it's primarily skincare. There is some makeup, but it's very similar to the last two years. It's Korean skincare, which is fantastic. I just have so many skincare items that I'm still working my way through and I didn't want to make another purchase of items that are potentially going to sit on the shelf and may go bad before I can get to use them. Hey, I only have one face, but this is a very cute, adorable calendar. Again, it's pricier, so I would still recommend if you like a mix between makeup and skincare to go for the glossy box. Now, if you are into only makeup and on a budget, this calendar from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty, they go by so many different names. It's the same company. It costs $55 for a 25 day advent calendar that is all makeup. I would say this is a great calendar if you're trying to build your makeup collection, if you love makeup in general, if you wanted to gift it to someone who loves makeup, it's a great price point. Is Makeup Revolution the best makeup on the market? I'm gonna say no. Is it the worst? Also no. Some of the products can be hit or miss, but this will let you dip your toe into products from Makeup Revolution. There's a full-size eyeshadow palette, a face palette, I'm seeing four eyeliner pencils, I'm seeing a couple of brushes, three lip products, it's a great gift set. All right, now on to a higher end advent calendar, the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I have not purchased this calendar before. However, I have picked up a few of her mystery boxes, which tend to have similar products. So I would say if you love skincare, you love Charlotte Tilbury, and you don't already own these products, this would be a great box. If you do get her mystery boxes, if you are more into makeup than skincare, I would definitely say pass. This is only a 12 door advent calendar and retails for $200. You also are only getting five full size items and seven mini products. Granted it is Charlotte Tilbury, her full size products are quite pricey. They are north of $65, they range 75 to over 100. So I would take a look on their website. They do list everything that comes in the advent calendar and do that determination. Because if you're planning to purchase at least three of those items, I think it's a great deal. Another all makeup, very affordable advent calendar is from NYX. This is their 24 day advent calendar. Now, the reason I'm passing on this one is I picked this up a few years ago and it's practically exactly the same. There are two newer products I'm seeing, um, the misting sprays, which I do not believe were in the box I got, but all of the single eyeshadows, the eye primer, the glowy born to glow, the lip balms, the HD finishing powder, and all of the butter glosses and cream lip products are the same. The shades may be slightly different, but it's the same box. So if you have any family members who love makeup, love lip products, this will be a great gift. If you are wanting to dip your toe into NYX products, this would be a fantastic gift. All right, and the last advent calendar I wanna talk about is the one from Ipsy. I recently posted a video, which I will link in the eye above. My thoughts are, 
It's a decent calendar. However, if you already subscribe to Ipsy, BoxyCharm, any beauty subscription, do not get this box. You're gonna find that you already own the items or you've picked them up via add-ons or drop shop hauls. This box did surprise me that it had more makeup than skincare and hair care products, although it was extremely sample size heavy. Although there were way more sample sizes than there were full size products and the full size products were lower valued brands. I don't know, what I don't appreciate is that what they advertise, they share four brands, which are the higher end brands that are in the box, but that's it. There aren't any other brands like that in this box. I almost feel it's a little bait and switch because you see, oh, Fenty, Tatcha, and you presume that the other items will be on par. I'm gonna tell you there is a Physician's Formula product in this box. Don't get me wrong, I love Physician's Formula. I'm just, when I'm seeing advertised Tatcha and Fenty, I'm not expecting to get Physician's Formula in that same box. This box, by the way, retails for $115. If you don't subscribe to Ipsy and you don't have a large makeup or skincare collection, this will be a decent box. However, if you already subscribe to Ipsy or even BoxyCharm, I would say skip this box because you probably already own the majority of items in here, have picked them up via add-ons, or I would recommend you take that $115 and then just pick up eight months worth of the Ipsy Glam Bag where you then would get 40 products instead of 25, and you would be able to select one of your items and probably would end up with more full-size products. So I would love to hear from you now. Do you love getting advent calendars? Have you been curious but weren't quite sure if they were worth the money or not? If you stop by because you were curious if any of these boxes were good, hopefully my commentary will help you make the right choice. I will be doing two additional advent calendars this year, which are new to me. The Ipsy advent calendar was my only repeat and it will be my last, that is for sure. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor, clicking on that thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.